In the previous case, we talked about DIP, D-I-P, desquamative interstitial pneumonia. Now, we're going to talk about something that's similar to DIP, and it's called DAD, which is diffuse alveolar damage, which is a description like we're going to see, and it's very often found in the uh, adult respiratory distress syndrome. Uh, the best way to understand adult respiratory distress syndrome before we go into some of these little changes is to think of it as pulmonary edema from a non-cardiac cause because in uh, adult respiratory distress syndrome you have a diffuse fluid uh, in the alveoli but in addition you have alveolar damage as well and that's how dad fits into the picture. Uh, in diffuse alveolar damage, not only do you have fluid filling the alveoli, but you have uh, damaged alveoli in which portions of the alveolar wall uh, fill up the uh, alveoli, including little hyaline areas like this and maybe like this, like we saw with hyaline membrane disease in the newborn, which was uh, the newborn form of respiratory distress, also called respiratory distress of the newborn. Well, this is respiratory distress of the adult, also with hyaline membranes and damage. And um, it's it, it maybe look like a specific finding, I guess, when you find a bunch of uh, fluid and junk within an alveoli, but not inflammatory cells per se, with damaged septae and alveoli and hyaline membranes. You could probably call this DAD. However, it occurs in a very wide variety of uh, uh, settings and is not by itself. And usually it's an association with very, very, very severe uh, pulmonary injuries as an acute reaction uh, and is not a specific disease entity unto itself. Okay, uh, pulmonary, I'm sorry, hyaline membranes like we saw in the baby damaged alveoli, thickened alveoli, and uh, resembling desquamative uh, interstitial pneumonia, except here we see hyaline membranes rather than just pure uh, macrophages uh, filling up the alveoli. Thank you very much.